Hello and welcome. This is Chris Ann and I'm coming at you from Elemental Energies with Chris Ann. And today I'm going to be reviewing this brand new deck to me, the Star Temple Oracle deck. And it's by Susie Cherub and it's put out by Blue Angel. Artwork by Layla Sovlian. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. <laughs> there. So brand new. I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Haven't opened it yet. I do have to admit that I have the digital copy of this. I'm highly impressed just from the digital copy deal alone. That's an app on my phone. So I have an iPhone. So I have the app that goes with this and I've been publishing it to my Facebook page, which of course is Elemental Energies with Christiane. So let's crack into this. Let's get a peek. So like I said, I've already peeked at the digital copy, obviously. So let's see what this one has in store for us. And, and I've been impressed. That's why I ordered the actual deck. I have a lot of decks. I have well over 400 decks sitting right here in front of me. I don't need a lot of decks. Just a piece of paper that came with this. So here we have the book. Um, it's a decent sized book. I'm not one that goes big for books because I think you should make the decks your own. There's a couple different ways of using the deck, but you know, so there's the information, the, the, well the deck, the, the card name, the information, the star words, and then a little bit about it. So this deck is marketed, so the dedication is for my moon for my wild moon child and fearless warrior daughter, <laughs> which I love. And then, this is what I wanted to get to. For my soul family, ancestral and spiritual guides, teachers, the celestial seven sisters of the Pleiades. So this is a very Palladian deck. And that's kind of what caught my eye about it. So, yeah, I thought this was really different, really cool when I start. Let me see how many cards. There are 44 cards in this. Yeah, 44 cards and a guidebook. So, let's crack into the actual deck here. Good weight to the cards so far. Let's take off the belly band. We don't need that. This is the back of the cards. They all do have the same back. Nice. Yeah, nice weight to them. That's number 44. So let's start at the beginning. Oh, these are pretty. Look at that. I have not looked at every single card. And I'm not going to go through and read them all. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to show them as I'm talking. Oh, but these are really pretty. These have a good weight to them. They seem to be a standard size card like the um, Hay House cards. So this is the Maya series. That's what it said in the book. So you can see the, the Maya. So there's different, yeah. So there's different series. I guess like we would have different houses in a tarot deck. I guess that's kind of very akin to this. So I have to say, I've been posting the digital cards on my Facebook page oh, for the last, oh, I don't know, few days. Really good feedback that I've been getting. People are loving this deck. I, oh, in fact, I think I posted this one the other day. Um, the energy within this deck is really cool. My only complaint, well, no, I'm going to have two complaints. I'm going to have two complaints. <laughs> Because I always do positives and negatives for every deck I review. So look at the, the imagery is just striking and stunning in these. So there's my positive for this deck. The imagery is gorgeous. Here's two of my complaints. The first one is 
Not a lot of people can read cursive. I'm in the United States. Cursive is not taught anymore. And I know this isn't a full on cursive, but it kind of is. People in the United States under the age of, I don't know, 28, 25, can't read cursive. Cursive isn't taught in the schools anymore. So you're missing out when you're doing something that's in cursive. You're missing out on a whole group of a population within this country. I know other countries do still continue to teach cursive and power to them. I really wish we still did. Um, first complaint. Second complaint. I'm going to say these names wrong. <laughs> That's on me. That's not on the deck. That's on me. So some of the names are a little challenging to pronounce, but I just love the imagery within this deck. I love the energy. I love the the messages. So this is the Electra one. Goddess of Balance, Equality. I create and foster reciprocal relationships. How cool. How cool is that? The other thing that I love about this is I'm seeing people from all over the world, not just a representation of people from one small corner of the world. So I love that. Out of the ashes, I rise like a golden sun. Love it. This, this is a lovely, 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 lovely deck. I think it's a fantastic purchase for me. Um, you can make a decision if it's a fantastic purchase for you. But I'm just telling you, my look at look at the artwork in this. Really, really cool. Very intricate. I love it. Very, very cool. Oh, that one's pretty too. I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. Oh, that's a great one. I think a lot of people could benefit from the information within this deck. I posted this one today. This was the one that I posted today on my Facebook page. I am the Oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. Just beautiful, ethereal imagery. And a lot of times I say, oh, I think the cover of the box, is this two cards? Yeah, it is. I think the cover of the box is missing out. I don't think the artwork on the box resonates with the artwork within the deck. And actually... No, that's not the case in this one. In this case, this is the cover of the box. Yeah, I think that's very indicative of the cards. <laughs> Look at that one. How sweet. That's really cute. Yeah, very cute. Oh, I thought this one was really cool. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, so not only different people from all over the globe, but also different ages within this. So, yeah. I think a lot of people, if you're a higher vibration, absolutely will resonate with this deck. And I know somebody had commented on my Facebook page the other day that they um, meditated to the card that I posted. And I think this deck is a really cool deck to meditate with. Ooh, the Seven Sister Circle. Sisterhood enriches my life. Isn't that the truth? Ooh, the Aquamarine Star. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. Hmm. I know I said I wasn't going to read them, but the mystic magic. I weave my magic and surrender to the universe. These are really neat. I'm loving the colors within these. I really love the imagery. I know imagery goes a long way with a deck, but the information on this is lovely as well. And I think that's equally as important and that's why somebody will buy a deck is because they can utilize the information that's within the cards yeah really really pretty oh I posted this one the other day too the cosmos ascend I connect to oneness and express my awareness love it yeah, I'm going to be doing readings with these cards going forward. Absolutely. I can definitely see that. So this is a thicker card. It's a thicker quality card. It's not by any means a thin card. There's a matte finish to the front. It's a nice texture. Well, it's a lack of texture, actually, which is nice. It's smooth. Um, and then it's the same on the back. It's the smooth, same smooth texture. Um, it's That matte finish is really nice. 
I, I'm happy with the quality of this. I'm pleased with the imagery. I'm pleased with the colors and pleased with the vibration of these. I don't, I don't have complaints other than cursive. Don't use cursive. I, I was just telling a friend that the other day she was redesigning some of her stuff for her business. I'm like, you can't use cursive. Most people can't read it anymore, which is sad. And it's kind of pathetic too, but not pathetic to the people that can't do it. Pathetic to the system that doesn't teach it anymore. That's, that's the sad spot. Oh, I posted this one the other day too. I think. Or that I did that one for a reading for myself. I don't remember which. Oh, look at that one. Father of the sky, I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. Oh, that's cool. And then this is the last one. This is number 44. Mother of the sea, goddess, I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I love this. All right. So I have chosen to do a one card pull using this deck for Sarah. So this is not only going to be posted to YouTube, but it's also going to be posted to my Facebook page, Elemental Energies with Persan on Facebook. These are a little sticky. It's going to take me a time to kind of go through and fully do a full shuffle, which is not something I can do right here. I'm going to be separating these. They are a little sticky. Let's give them a little. Yeah, they're still a little sticky. But that's okay. I'll work with them. <laughs> I'll suffer through it. <laughs> All right. Let's give it a clear. Let's give it a tap. Let's see what the universe has in store. One card pull that I'm going to do for Sarah. So the moon, the moonstone star, which is all about passion. I am entering a portal of euphoric love. Ooh. Can I say I love that? That's cool. That's a cool card. All right. Awesome. Hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed this deck as much as I have. So this has been the Star Temple Oracle US. It retails for $25.95. It's designed in Australia, printed in China. So, yeah, check it out. And it's put out by Blue Angel, which they do a lot of really amazing decks. And they're they're getting to have a lot of more higher vibration decks that I've, I've noticed as well. So, really cool. Thanks so much for tuning in. I do not have this deck available on my website, but I do have quite a few other decks. If you're interested, check it out. www.elementalenergieswithchrisanne.com Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoy this. Check out this deck for yourself. This is not sponsored. I purchased this on my own with my own money. So not sponsored. So this is completely unsolicited. Hey, unless you want to sponsor me, I'm happy to do that too. But no, this is my genuine, real view on this. So thanks everybody so much. Let me know what you think about it. Take care and be free.